What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battle video. And in today's video, we are going to be playing up against this team. We have a Drampa, we have Normal Gym, and we have Hyper Beam. So of course, I want to have a lot of fun with this. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy some of these battles. But uh, right now we have to fight an Ice Skew. We have to fight a Alolan Executor, a Mewtwo, a Zacian, a Cinderace, and a Gengar. This is a lot. I'm going to send in some Alacrim and Dramp Gramp just to see what he leads off with. Honestly, I feel like I could lead off with Flareon. I could lead off with Flareon. I think I'd be pretty safe. Um... I want to play it safe a little bit. I feel like I can easily get off a Trick Room. And... Dramp Gramp will appreciate that. And with Normal Gym, we're going to hit pretty hard into a lot of things. I brought Flareon mainly because Flareon is really underused. And it is one of people's least favorite evolutions. And I want to give it a shot, okay? So shut your face. We're gonna give it a shot. Alright, I'm gonna trick room. And we're gonna go for a protect. He's going for blood. Oh, he's definitely out for blood, man. He's definitely out for blood. We're going to go for expanding force and we're going to go for hyper beam. Honestly, yeah, we're going to go for hyper beam. Actually, I, I I don't know. I want to save it. I want to save it. We're going to go for Hyper Beam. Obviously, that gets through it. enough to get the ice cube uh, I think at this point I need to definitely eat a blizzard this is gonna activate berserk though and we get frozen on simulacrum so that's not good God. I'm just hoping he can thaw out and just get this ally switch. Please. Please. I need Dramp Gramp alive. Ah, oh, he's frozen solid. He can't do anything. He misses the play, bro. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you done goof. You done goof now. Switching into Flareon, and we're gonna go for a Hyper Beam into Mewtwo. Oh, oh, you done goofed. You done goof now. You done goof now. Oh, you done goof now. Actually, I can just go for Protect. I think I'm gonna go for a Protect. I can hear my neighbors mowing their lawn. Oh, it was a crit. It's okay. He's really out to kill me, man. He's really out to kill me. It's, that's alright, though. That's alright. That's alright. 
It's all right. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. When I flare blitz, you keep that same energy. Keep that same energy, baby boy. We'll see how you feel after this flare blitz. We're going to go for a berserk boosted hyper beam in a Mewtwo. And it is dead. Now we have Muscle Band on Flareon. Oh, yes! This is why I put Flareon on the team. This is why I put Flareon on the team. Underrated, underappreciated. Oh, man. Buddy, how did you lose a Zacian to a Flareon and a Mewtwo to a Drampa? How? All right, let's talk about this. We can negotiate on what you call a skilled negotiator. I'm going to go for baby doll eyes in the Cinderace. And honestly, if we just lose both of these Pokemon here, it's all right. Uh, another reason why I chose Flareon is because it learns baby doll eyes. I think because of Eevee and baby doll eyes has priority. So it goes first. And that is really good for when you're dealing with fast very power heavy offensive hitters he missed a pyro ball oh that's unfortunate and we still live oh man that is unfortunate isn't it i'm gonna protect even if i go out i go out a king we gotta lower this man's attack as much as we can flareon may go down this turn but at least we're going down, weakening a rabbit. Honestly, I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of confused. I, I think we're going to send out Comfy. I can go for a floral healing in the Drampa, and we can go for a max strike. Yeah, we can go for, actually, I don't know. I think I can go for a max Wormwind in the Gengar. Yeah, you thought I wasn't going to max Dramp Gramp? You thought I wasn't going to max Grandpa? Uh-uh, buddy. Uh-uh. Look at that guy. He looks how I feel. High and sleepy. Like, Dramp Gramp is... I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't really, like, the biggest fan of its design. But it kind of, uh... It, it grew on me. That and the Berserk ability is just really just... Ridiculous. You have two attack drops. That's not doing nothing to me. That's not doing nothing to me. And he activated Berserk again. Dude. <laughs> Dram Gramp is on a power high, my guy. You're not going to stop me. Now you have three attack drops on Cinderace. I'm not afraid of you. I'm like the little nerd that stood up to his bully. You don't scare me anymore. You used to, but now I'm standing up for myself. Honestly, I didn't think that Drampa was going to do so good in this match as it's doing right now. So, like, I I'm honestly just, I'm surprised. We're going to go for another Max Wormwind into Alolan Executor. We're going to go for Floral Healing. I think with three attack drops on Cinderace, it obviously isn't going to do much, even if it maxes. So... At this point, what we're really looking at is what can the Alolan Executor do? Like, what is he going to max? What can the Alolan Executor do? And uh, is he going to be enough to one-shot me? He maxes the Cinderace? Dude, 
With three attack drops, you're not doing it. Your best bet here is to go for a max knuckle and pray that that helps the Alolan Executor do something because it's not going to kill me. Max Fireball into Comfey, maybe? Why in a Drampa? I resist! Congratulations, you've accomplished nothing. Now you're at negative four attack. Does he not have any type of fighting type move? Does he not have like low sweep? Does he not have like close combat, high jump kick, something? Even low kick would do right now, man. Anything would save you at this point. If you were Libero, you wouldn't be having these problems. You know what? I'm gonna help. I, 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 I don't know. There's so many things. I, I wanna. I'm gonna helping hand, and I'm gonna go for a max strike, and see if this one shots the Cinderace. We have two Berserk boosts. The battle was canceled. Oh man, we had two Berserk boosts. A helping hand probably would have one shot at the Cinderace, right from where it was at. But I think he saw just how little damage he was doing on that Cinderace. And I don't think he really had any viable alternatives. Even if he had a fighting type move, it wasn't going to save him at that point. Negative four attack. He's not going to kill my grandpa, no matter what. No matter what. You know, his best bet was hoping that the executor outspeeds and he can land a Draco Meteor. Or he can get like a Dragon Rush or something on the grandpa or max the executor. I was hoping he would max the executor because that seemed like his strongest bet to win or to at least take out the grandpa but no he maxes the cinderace he goes for a pyro ball i i just can't understand his logic i can't i can't hell he could have went for like a max airstream gave his executor the speed boost and he would have been in a better position than you know whatever that was <laughs> All right, so we have to deal with a Yvettel, a Galarian Zapdos, a... I don't even know what that thing is called. I know it's an Ultra Beast. I just forgot what it's called. Reggie Drago, a Glastrier, and a Stack Attacker. Oh, man. I'm going to use... The, the problem here is a lot of his Pokemon enjoy trick room so it's really kind of hard for me to navigate that it's really hard for me to navigate that i'm gonna send in some alacrim and Clawitzer, mainly to just see what he's leading honestly if he leads off with yvetto that's gonna be bad if he leads off with uh galarian zapdos it could kind of work out in our favor honestly most of his pokemon enjoy trick room so it's gonna be a little tough for me to navigate that it's gonna be very tough for me to navigate that okay he sends out your battle and he sends out galarian zapdos I'm going to definitely go for Trick Room here. Oh, this man's going for Broke. He's going to max the Yvettel, I think. He's going to max the Yvettel. It's always the people that want no restrictions. <laughs> it's always the ones that want no restrictions. These guys are just out the gate, just pulling out all the smoke. really didn't have to do that that was unnecessary just know if you don't kill me this is bad for you 
Okay, this is bad for you. You did not kill me. Or my defense. I don't care about defense, honestly. At this point, I don't care about defense. Like, at this point, I don't care about defense. You came out the gate with heat. I'm coming out the gate with heat. This man came up and asked me if I want the smoke. I want the smoke. All right? I want all the smoke. I bring the smoke. He doesn't switch out. That's bold. Especially after you just did a close combat like that. That is bold. You're looking at a psychic type Pokemon. We'll get off another water pulse. Hopefully he hits himself in confusion, but I'm not banking on it. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay, bet, bet. I'm happy. I'm happy. Glastier. Honestly, I just want to get off this, uh... I'm gonna ally switch. I really need to take care of this thing. Like, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. It's unfortunate to lose my uh, simulacrum, but we take out the Yveto. And I have a Flareon, and it has baby doll eyes, so we're, we're still solid. We're still solid. We're gonna switch into Comfey. I definitely don't want to deal with a high horsepower, but it's yeah, I definitely don't want to deal with a high horsepower, but we do get the attack drops every single turn. So I'm just gonna focus on that. Close combat. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Draco Meteor. This man is just looking for it. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. He's gonna go for baby doll eyes and we're gonna go for floral healing. We can just try to just hold this out. As long as we keep reducing its attack. I think uh, we dropped its attack by one. Another baby doll eyes will drop it by two. Well, it's, it's like minus one now, so. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> God, I hate that. Glaster is just so busted, man. Like, God damn. dimensions return to normal okay i mean okay
Honestly, it's just like draining kiss. I can get back a lot of health with draining kiss. I'm just gonna go for it. You should have went for sludge bomb into the uh Kluitzer. Yes! Oh, we get the K on the glass here. Kluitzer, I love you. Oh my god. I love you, Kluitzer. Also, this guy, he's a walking HP tank. And since he's quad weak, this is just perfect for me, man. This is perfect. Now I can bring in Dramp Gramp. Uh, I don't really know what the other Pokemon is. Stack Attacker. Okay. Oh, boy. We glare, and then I'm just going to go for a Draining Kiss. is kind of intimidating man those locks its eyes its soulless red weed like hot, like eyes how it just stares into your soul like just look at its body it's weird okay so what's his next pokemon what's his what is other pokemon <laughs> Reggie Drago, okay, 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 okay. I see what this is. I see what this is. Max Wormwind. And we're gonna go for a draining kiss. Obviously, I'm not gonna try to get hit with dragon energy. I don't want none of that. <laughs> I don't want no dragon energy. Alright, buddy, you're gonna feel the full power of Grandpa today. The only sad part here is that I can't end it on a hyper beam. Especially with stack attacker being quad resisted to it. I mean, I can try. I think I'm ambitious enough to try. Oh, that did almost nothing. But I got a lot of health from that. No, oh, we avoided the hammer arm. Man, I don't know, man. Drampot's kind of nimble. We've avoided some blizzards. We've avoided some uh, play roughs. We've avoided a lot of things that should have killed us. Okay. I want to end this on like a hyper beam so i'm just gonna try to whittle this thing down health wise until it's in range of a hyper beam or not or it will die to max whirlwind which was which was a crit god he just did not win anyway like anyway Drampa did surprisingly good in both of these matches. Surprisingly good. And Flareon, Flareon helped. Flareon helped, especially in the first match. Flareon brought me to victory in the first match. It didn't really help too much in this match going forward, but I guess it kind of worked as like death fodder. And honestly, Kluitzer is clutch. One Aurora Spirit was all it took to take down a Glaster. That's all it took. The man could have won the match if he just sludge bombed into the Kluitzer instead of trying to sludge bomb into the Comfe. You see that the Comfe is eating these attacks. You see that I am regening most of my health. 
you've already popped the draco meteor you see the Cloitzer is like 10 health maybe five health maybe one health for all you know why not go for a slud bomb into that save your glastrier you know that i have nothing that's gonna hit your glastrier on the comfy so you could have got another chilling day boost and you could have just snowballed from there but nah he, he got he, he i don't know he was tunnel vision on taking out the comfy comfy's not the threat it's just the support hopefully you guys enjoyed these two battles and you will like the video and you will subscribe for more please comment what was your best or your favorite part of these battles I honestly thought it was the Flareon because nobody likes Flareon as an evolution. It, it's one of those uh, evolutions where it has like decent stats as far as attack is concerned, but its speed is so lackluster and its move pool is not that um, diverse. So compared to other evolutions, not too many people pick Flareon. But if you're running a Trick Room team and you're looking for a Zacian counter that nobody sees coming. I think Flareon, especially with baby doll eyes that gives it priority attack drop, makes it a very interesting pick. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.